came in, he was, he was on oxygen. He was having a very difficult time breathing. We immediately started the resuscitation process and getting him started on the medications necessary to treat diphtheria. As long as this kid's gonna keep fighting, I'm not gonna give up on him. What we were able to do was treat him with the best care we had to support him, give him oxygen as best we could. Unfortunately, he was so far along in the process when he got to us, we couldn't sustain it that much longer and he passed away. We just hope that our actions and our, our care towards that child and the, and the family convey to witness of, of Christ's love to them and it'll have an, Im, an impact in the face of this horrible tragedy that they've gone through. There's not much mention of this crisis in the media. The Rohingya people have fled across Bangladeshi border to this region. This diphtheria outbreak was happening and they needed someone to open up treatment centers. At that point, Samaritan's Purse put everything into action. Samaritan's Purse was able to put this clinic up in 10 days using basically all hand labor to cut the mountains, to set up the tents, to run the electricity, to bring in the generators. 10 days later, we had a treatment center up and running, treating diphtheria cases. Well, the last massive diphtheria outbreak like this was in 1991. Diphtheria thrives in close quarters, like this refugee camp. Diphtheria is an infection that's particularly terrible in children, mostly because children's throats, their airways are very small, and that's where it infects, and it causes significant swelling and closure of that airway, and that's what they die from. The majority of them that are coming in uh, to this camp and die, die because they can't breathe anymore. Little Mohammed's a two and a half year old who came in with kind of acute respiratory distress and, and failure. He was working pretty hard to breathe because his upper airway was pretty infected and swollen with diphtheria. <laughs> So they ended up having to resuscitate him, they sedated him and like helping him breathe. We were told that he wasn't doing well and that he probably wasn't gonna make it and so to kind of prepare ourselves as we came in to relieve the night team that we had a dying baby and that, you know, we, we might not be able to resuscitate him. So there's a very rare medication in the world called diphtheria antitoxin. It's only 5,000 doses in the whole world before this outbreak. Samaritan's Purse, through its partnership with the World Health Organization, has been able to obtain this medication. And this medication, along with antibiotics, along with other therapies that we're doing, really uh, decreases the time that it uh, is needed for these kids to recover. You know, the following day, walking in and talking to the dad that he's eating well, he's almost smiling and happy, and he doesn't need any extra medications to help his breathing and that we're comfortable with him going home. <laughs>
there's a lot of work to be done and there's a lot of patients to care for. You know, our overall goal in the future every single day is to share the love of Jesus Christ with each and every one of these people that come out of this refugee camp with this horrible disease. So we're gonna be here for uh, a significant portion of time treating this disease and caring for those individuals.